I'm Bobby Allen, CTO for Cloud General, hosting the CTO Dose, uh, live from reInvent in Vegas. Interesting conversation on deck with Gina Rosenthal from Digital Sunshine, Damani Corbin, Kubernetes expert from Weaveworks. Uh, don't be fooled by their mild manner uh, predicaments right here. They're about to fight it out because <laughs> we got an interesting conversation on enterprise, developers, culture, technology, tools, enhancements. We're going to hash out all the things that Andy Jassy talked about yesterday. Tune in, tune in for this conversation, or should I say fight? <laughs> I'm going to be host slash referee as they battle it out. Tune in. You want to listen in and, and check this out. And so one of the things that I'm really thankful about that Keith has given a platform for some divorce, um, some diverse voices in technology, having a woman and two black men that are knee deep in technology, but you're going to see that there are also some diverse ideas that are going to happen on the program today. So we had three hours of keynote yesterday from Andy Jassy from here at reInvent 2019. And what I'd love to give you all a wide berth to talk about, Gina, we'll have you go first. What are you most excited about out of that three hour keynote? And then what are you most skeptical about? Maybe too good to be true. Well, the most excited, I think it's, it's, is just the energy, really, honestly, around everything. It, mm. It's really strange being in SANS Convention Center because I have been here for EMC World, mm -hmm. for Dell EMC World, mm -hmm. you know, of course, VMworld's down the road always, but to be in this particular place and have that energy mm -hmm. is very, it's is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. I guess um, probably just very general blanket, there were several announcements that happened. Um, where I didn't see that they were anything brand new. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of marketing sizzle, I think really around the, the chips, the announcement right around the new chips that they're building. Mm -hmm. Lots of marketing sizzle, but it's, mm -hmm. but you've got chip companies, like my, what I said online was like, chip companies just don't bring the new fangled sizzle, but mm -hmm. they are doing really amazing, cool things. It just doesn't get out there as much. So mm -hmm. kind of question marks in my head. It's like, is this anything new or is this what everybody else is doing? They're just selling it better. I agree. I feel like there were a lot of kind of new-ish things. Yeah. A lot of things that had already been pre-announced on the blog, they just kind of packaged it all together to roll up that story. So, Damani, from your perspective, what did you like that you heard yesterday? What do you feel like is too good to be true? You want to scratch the paint on? What do you think? I'm really excited about Kubernetes. Um, mm -hmm. I, I like the, the Fargate on EKS announcement. Mm -hmm. um, I think... Uh, and the double down that we need executive sponsorship. Mm -hmm. I think he hit on that we don't want paralysis by analysis, mm -hmm. that you need to jump in and get started. Mm -hmm. um, and I think in order to have that happen, you need one, the executive sponsorship, mm -hmm. and then you need to jump in. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that happens without the culture mm -hmm. around it, mm -hmm. right? We have a diverse panel. Mm -hmm. When we speak about culture today, mm -hmm. I think it's necessarily around developers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Developers are king. Mm -hmm. We have to pay attention to developers, mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. Secondarily, African Americans represent 2% of the population in tech. Mm -hmm. That's atrocious, needs mm -hmm. to change. Agreed. Women represent 20%. Atrocious, needs to change. Agreed. So across the board, there needs to be a strategy. Mm -hmm. and, and I think Andy you know, challenged some executives, and I liked it. He did. He did. Anything that felt too good to be true yesterday? Uh, I got a lot of notes. I, I don't know if there's anything that was too good to be true. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know too much about the chips, mm -hmm. but I was fascinated by the numbers, right? So I was mm -hmm. sitting, who was I sitting next to? I forget the brother's name that was sitting next to me. Mm -hmm. um, but he opened up his laptop right away when the chip announcement was happening. Mm -hmm. And it said something like 90% more efficiency, 80% mm -hmm. less cost. Mm -hmm. And he picked, he picked it up and he looked and he said, wow. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and he knew the numbers of what Intel was doing, what ARM was doing, mm -hmm. and the numbers that Amazon announced was drastic. Mm -hmm. So for me to see mm -hmm. that type of reaction for someone who's knee deep from a chip perspective mm -hmm. was impressive. So I want to I poke some holes and I want you all to, to, to kind of attack this. So in the enterprise, we always hear the phrase people process technology all yes. the time. And I want to start to change that. I think it should be people process product or people process problem. So if mm -hmm. I want to be a little controversial, I'll say... Why should I care about all the announcements that happened yesterday? It's just technology. What is the problem that we're trying to solve? More flops, more EC2 instances. What does that actually mean for the business? Why should I care if I'm an executive? But I feel like I agree with you. Um, I, and I, I would almost go like with applications. So I guess devs are very, very important. <laughs> they build our applications, and the applications should be built around 
a business problem. Mm -hmm. But then somebody has to nail that to the ground. If you give that to Amazon to do as mm -hmm. a SaaS provider, mm -hmm. you're trusting them to have um, things available to you that will match the application, that matches the business problem, mm -hmm. and they take care of it. But IT ops people also can do that on mm -hmm. their own. Mm -hmm. And I think what we're moving into is this ability to stitch the two together. Where if, I'm, mm -hmm. if I have a problem, get to get get the dev and ops people, truly the IT ops people together, mm -hmm. not just an SRE, but the entire ops team together. Mm -hmm. Here's my problem. You guys work it out where it's going to be hosted, mm -hmm. where it needs to move, what happens, how do we secure it, how do we replicate it, how do we make sure it's 1,000% there all the time. Mm -hmm. And that's an ongoing thing with um, how I solve that problem with technology, not just the application development, mm -hmm. but actually the hosting of the application. Where is the best place for that to be? But who decides it? Who's the decision maker on the best place to put it? I would think the application owner or the owner of the problem. I, I, you tell me this is a problem, mm -hmm. the application is going to go get built. <laughs> you shake it mm -hmm. The application is going to go get built. Mm -hmm. And this person owns the entire application. They mm -hmm. get to decide. Okay, come on, poke holes in that design. Talk to me. <laughs> <sighs> Where do I start? So first, let me correct you with one thing. I don't think that Amazon is a SaaS provider. The cloud is broken up into three parts. SaaS, PaaS, and IaaS. Mm -hmm. Amazon is an IaaS. Okay. Infrastructure is a service. Okay, let's, that. Let, let's start there. Mm. And then understand that the developer is not making decisions. Developers just want to write code. They don't want to touch YAML. Mm -hmm. They don't want to care about those things. They just want to work on things that are above the value line. Right? Mm -hmm. So the developer shouldn't care where it runs. Give it over to the, they write code, check code, done. That's it. No, I agree with so that. So it's not, it's not the developers, the developer shouldn't care. It right. should, it should be abstracted away from the developer. Exactly, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. I think you're 1000% right in that. But I think the application owner is not necessarily a developer, right? No. Right. So I think the application owner should say, <clears throat> I want my application to do this to solve my problem. Mm -hmm. Developers figure out how to make it do that, mm -hmm. but then the IT, the ops person, are the people that make sure below the line is happening and it's there, and the devs never have to worry about. What's it. your view on, on 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 devs versus ops? I think we should bring. Mm -hmm. I literally think we should bring everybody together to work together. But mm -hmm. you just stated that it was that, that they should give it to ops. So that that assumes that we're still working in a waterfall methodology, and that devs are throwing their software over the fence to ops. Mm -hmm. Well, no. What I'm trying to say, I think that happens more often than not. Still, mm -hmm. but what I'm saying is, I think that those. I, I feel like. Um, I feel like the whole idea of DevOps was basically, I'm going to be super controversial, okay. All right. just to Come get on. an SRE in there, right. get a specialized admin in there that could figure out how to manage not only the containers mm -hmm. in an architecture, but also manage whatever um, the, the IaaS provider or PaaS provider presents to them. Mm -hmm. Make sure we have the right VMs, the right storage, the right speeds, everything else. Mm -hmm. um, it's still, I think it's wide in the gulf the DevOps goals that existed when I was an ops person, um, even further. I think we have to get rid of this divide. There has to be, if this is the application solving the problem, everybody has to be together. What do you need so that you don't ever have to see below the line? How do I support you and just give you this area to go create? How do I do that? I will know better about where to put it, where to nail it down. If you explain to me what you're doing and writing to solve this problem, I think everybody should be together in one org. I think we're, we're going to have to kind of wrap up a little bit in terms of our final words. I mean, we could go on and, oh, I think we can and get talk about this all day, and you all might be coming to blows. I might have to actually referee a little bit. One thing I'll throw out there, though, doesn't this ultimately still go back to executives, just like Andy talked about yesterday? You've got to have somebody with the charter, the mandate, the authority to drive it, but the challenge is a lot of these executives don't have the content matter expertise to know what are the material decisions to make or not, right? Poke holes in that. I, I, I'll, I'll leave you with two things, right? Um, mm -hmm. Andy Jassy brought two CEOs on stage. Mm -hmm. He brought on Brent Schaefer of Cerner, mm -hmm. and he brought on uh, uh, Goldman Sachs, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, CEO of Goldman Sachs. Mm -hmm. And what was interesting is that the vendor that was left out that helped both of those customers mm -hmm. was Pivotal Labs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? 
the fact of the matter is that there was a leadership change from the top down mm -hmm. from both of those organizations. Mm -hmm. However, there was a huge cultural shift mm -hmm. that happened in both of those organizations mm -hmm. to allow those companies to move that fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goldman Sachs has 9,000 developers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a major shift that needs to happen. Pivotal Labs came in and said, hey, you can't set up your, you got to do peer programming. Mm -hmm. You can't set up the desk this way. Mm -hmm. You have to operate differently. Mm -hmm. There needs to be consistency. Mm -hmm. We need to see how they'd be able to get that code through production. Mm -hmm. We need to deliver software quickly. Mm -hmm. So you ask what it's about. It's about the experience. Mm -hmm. It's all about the experience. Mm -hmm. It's about the customer experience. It's about the developer experience. Mm -hmm. It's about your employee experience. Mm -hmm. Everything is centered around the experience. Mm -hmm. And it starts from the top, mm -hmm. but you also need a ground-up strategy. Mm -hmm. And your developers are on the ground, and you've got to make them happy. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Uh, Dan, final word, what do you think? What, what do you take away? If someone wasn't here at the conference to net it all out, what would you want them to go home with? What's, uh, after the first day, all the announcements, packing 10 pounds of new things in the three-pound bag, yeah. as we talked about, what, what would you want someone to take away from this? I think the big thing is that the, the and he, Andy Jeffy did say this on the first day, it's all about digital transformation and I've been in product marketing for several years mm -hmm. and I've written lots of digital transformation mm -hmm. marketing things mm -hmm. and I've never thought it's realer than now. <clears throat> it is the, the, at the rate of uh, the cloud in general and is just technology. Mm -hmm. Technology as at a place where we can change it all. Mm -hmm. I think your comments on making the developers happy and making, I think, the IT ops people happy too, mm -hmm. making everybody in the org be able to do their job mm -hmm. takes not just, um, it, it takes from the top vision more than mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. that this transformation has happened, mm -hmm. we're in the midst of it, mm -hmm. we got to go, and now that this was a great, um, as far as announcements, and the Amazon has produced so much content, there's so much to go home and pour over mm -hmm. and read, but it's pretty obvious that it's here, and it'll be mm -hmm. interesting to see how the other cloud vendors and how the on-prem vendors kind of respond and interact with all of this. Excellent. Gina, Damani, thank you so much. We may have to keep this going off camera. <laughs> Gina, tell people how they can find you online. Uh, you can find me, the best place is Twitter, G-M-I-N-K-S. Okay. Damani, how can they connect with you? Uh, Damani Corbin on LinkedIn, Damani Corbin on Twitter. Excellent. Thank you for listening into our conversation. You heard it here first, kind of some of the hot takes from what's happening at reInvent so far. Tune in next time for the next CTO Dose. Understand here how to keep a pulse on what's happening in tech. Thank you.